Hey YouTube, it's your boy DJ Cool Thing. It's time for another video and it's time for another DJ update. For 12.32 in the morning on the 18th of September, 2019. And today I want to talk about Mixcloud, the future for the new Mark Party Mix since I upgraded to the SR2 from Pioneer DJ, um, my future DJ gig logs, for the rest of fall into winter of 2019. And uh, yeah, I'll give you guys all the updates you need for this particular day until we come up with another update or another video. So first let's talk about Mixcloud. Well, tonight I reactivated and brought back my Mixcloud account and this time I didn't use Facebook. I used an actual email and password and it's all brought back. And I will be using it as my secondary sharing platform for all my DJ mixes that I don't know what to do with. So I'm gonna start recording more mixes more often through Serato and through other DJ platforms that I come across that might help me as a DJ maybe have a more um, op you know, have more option to uh, to use maybe DJ Pro 2 by algorithm and also Serato DJ Pro. And this leads into the next part of the update where we talk about the Newmark Party Mix. Since June of 2018 I've been using the new mark party mix and then in July I upgraded to the SR2 from Pioneer DJ and I haven't been using it as much because I've been using the SR2 getting used to the the controller and the the jog wheels and the knobs and the you know all the different features that that controller has over the last couple of months since July of 2019. So it's almost been a couple of months. So I've had it for a little over a month and it's almost been like next week or so, it'll be two months, two months since I owned the new more early Pioneer DJ, DDJ SR2. That controller it's a beast. And I will be using it at future DJ gig logs like this coming Saturday at the Beach Buddies Paris Out Out Dance Party. It's gonna be an awesome DJ gig. I am super pumped about this uh, dance party. It's for the special needs children at my church and it's a good kick off for for them for um, getting back into the swing of things at the Beach Buddies Paris Night Out. So they wanted to have a dance party. So I'm going to be DJing at the dance party. And there's going to be pizza. And it's going to be from 5 to 7. So I probably won't be recording that much. But I will be recording from time to time. Since it is from five to seven, the gig log is not gonna be as long as my other DJ gig logs that I've been normally doing. I will get people dancing and have a good time and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be one awesome DJ gig. So since I upgraded to the SR2, the plan for the Newmark Party Mix is to put it in my closet here in this bedroom. And I'll pull it out if I need to use it, if I'm in a pinch. Like if, um, if I can't use the SR2, then I can just pull out the Party Mix and use it. Maybe I can use that for smaller setups. And what I wanna do next time I go to Walmart is get a lightning to your USB to lightning cable and download DJ2 on my iPhone and take it with me on the go. So, yeah, 
Um, so we pretty much talked about my future DJ gig logs, the dance party, which is this coming Saturday. In March, we have a CrossFit event in Charleston. So it's two days, it's gonna be my longest DJ gig log ever. Um, so it's gonna be a DJ vlog where it's gonna be multiple days in Charleston. Um, but I'm only gonna be DJ or I'm gonna be filming the DJing. So we're gonna have to stay the night in Charleston, so. Road trip, DJ road trip. <laughs> I really go on, I guess this will be part of the DJ cool thing on the road where I'm, I'm no, so that's if I'm in a place where it's not Myrtle Beach or Conway. So if I'm, I'm in Charleston or anywhere else, it goes into the DJ cool thing on the road playlist. And it'll also go into my DJ gig logs. I guess we call CrossFit event. Charleston, South Carolina, uh, March of 2020. And in May, we have a wedding to do, my very first ever wedding. And the bride, or the groom, the, well, both the bride and the groom, they're, they're friends of mine at the church, and they are helping me out with extra things that I need for the wedding but I'm gonna wait till Christmas to get the wireless mic set because it's very cheap to get very easy to get and uh, by Christmas we should be getting the wireless mic set to help with the toasts and the speeches and all that kind of stuff at the wedding and there's gonna be two speakers there's gonna be two ion total PA maxes so I'm gonna need two things for the wedding. I'm gonna be needing a XLR cable to connect one speaker to the next through XLR and also Huh. I don't, know, I don't know if that'll work or not. We'll have to figure out how to connect two Ion Total PA Maxes at the same time. Like connecting one speaker to the next, because it's gonna mix out an XLR in for auxiliary. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. Especially connecting one to the other. I guess it goes with the mix out into the XLR input on the speaker and then connect the, the master connection to the controller itself, the SR2. And we can't use XLR. Yeah, we can't use XLR. We can have to use RCA and connect it to something. <sighs> Man, it's gonna be a complicated setup, especially for the wedding. I mean, these were meant to be party speakers and just buy one and then they're done. I never really had to do this before, but we gotta find the master speaker and then connected to there and the second speaker will act as a pretty much um a gateway to stereo sound full stereo sound but we'll figure it out because usually it's connected to the auxiliary input on the secondary speaker like the one i have right now will be my main speaker and then connected to the other speaker through XLR in, and then, I mean, if you guys can help me, a way to connect two Ion Total PA Maxes together. This is for a wedding. And the bride is actually nice enough to help me out with the lights. So for Christmas this year, I'm only gonna get a couple of things, and that is a wireless mic set where it's gonna be a pack of two that we can do two people at a time for toasts, speeches, all that kind of stuff for wireless and then connect the transmitter to the SR2 because it's got a microphone input and control the volume uh, from the controller itself. And I'm also gonna need a flight case. Those things are like hundreds of dollars to get. And 
I probably won't need a um, fly case until I'm 100% sure that I need a fly case to put the SR2 in. And then I also need, yeah, so we got a wireless, so we're gonna need a wireless mic set where it's got a wireless transmitter with two uh, microphones for weddings, um, for two people at a time to talk during like toasts, and also, yeah, toasts and speeches, and maybe have an extra microphone for myself after that's done, um, so I can do um, introductions. So wireless mics, a cable to connect one speaker to the next using the mix output on the Ion Total PA Max to another Ion Total PA Max and have stereo sound. And of course, we'll have lights to really liven it up a little. That's why I need lights because to liven up the, because I know it's going to be dark. Yep, it's gonna be dark because all weddings are dark. They go until it's dark. So lights will really help out with lighting, especially on top of the ceiling and on the dance floor. And whatever or how many we have. So we need wireless mics and we also need uh, an XLR cable, which I'll probably get for Christmas this year. And then the flight case is a, a whole nother story. I can I could probably get that for my birthday in 2020 to help me out with other DJ gigs. But if I need a flight case for the wedding, I need a flight case for the wedding. It'll keep it durable and it'll keep it protected while in transport. But um, since I already bought a carrying hand a carrying case, I will keep that until it's time to upgrade to the uh, flight case. So I, I probably have something to carry it from gig to gig. That's all I need is to carry it from gig to gig and then place it on the table itself. Well, I'm not really a, I mean, I like flight cases, but yeah. It'd be really nice to have a flight case, you know, to put my, put everything in and save room on my uh, table for other things like, a mixer, like a small mixer in the future. I mean, I'm really growing as a DJ and getting the professional gear that we need as a DJ. So, so for Christmas, I'll get wireless mics, just stuff I need for the wedding and other events like this CrossFit event in, in March. So... We need a wireless mic set, which those are like $3 on Amazon. I'll go on Cyber Monday and, or yeah, I'll do Cyber Monday and try to get some of the DJ gear I need for 2020. Since this is my job, this is how I'll make a living in the future, is by doing weddings and other events that I get paid for. You know, maybe it'll be worth it, you know, one day in the future. I guess it's just upgrades from here on out and adding stuff to the setup. Because we have all the basics covered. We got a controller, we got a laptop, which that will have to be upgraded sometime next year, which I actually have a computer, the um, MacBook Air. I'll use that until it's out of support. So I'm pretty good to go on laptops. So I can pretty much run Serato DJ Pro on the 2018 MacBook Air. I mean, the, and maybe even get like a USB hub, you know, connected to the USB-C adapter and just connect everything to the USB hub. That's another thing I'll get when it's time to upgrade to the MacBook Air and run everything off of the external hard drive, including the iTunes library. So... But first, we gotta get that computer fixed before we can do anything with it. So, the only things I'll get is a, just stuff I need for the wedding. 
because I already have a carrying case that I bought when I bought the controller. I was going to buy, the, I mean, it was cheaper than buying the one with the flight case. Um, I mean, I could have bought the one with the flight case, but um, I'll buy the flight case at a much later date. Those make things, it makes things more durable and makes things, um, it'll last a lot longer. But I actually have a carrying bag, which works just as good as a flight case. So I'm pretty good on that. So we can scratch that off the list. The only thing I need is, so I'll probably get this for Christmas on Cyber Monday. And I'll probably get it for Christmas. Um, a wireless mic set to help me out with like toasts and speeches at the wedding. Because I will have to give people microphones and I don't think they'll be able to reach. The wired microphones won't be able to reach like half, you know, to the tables. Just like give them to each table or to two people at a time because it, it will come with a a pack of two, which is plenty, especially for one transmitter. And so a wireless mic set and a XLR cable to connect the speaker from one to the other. It's gonna be a XLR out to XLR in. So that way we can connect one speaker to the next and it'll sound just as good It'll sound exactly the same and have each speaker turned up the way that what it needs to like match the volumes to the speakers to get an even stereo sound. So that's another thing to purchase off, off of Amazon is a wireless mic set for like toasts and speeches as well as a speaker cable to run from one speaker to the next and then connect and then connect the one that's not connected to the XLR input. I think it's all gonna go from left to right. For me, this is left and right. So if I'm standing at the table, left and right. So I'll be using the right channel as the main mixer and connecting it to the speaker or maybe even using Bluetooth. Oh, that's cool. Having a stereo sound via Bluetooth. That's where DJ Pro 2 comes in, is connecting it via Bluetooth and connecting both of them together using Bluetooth on the actual computer and connecting it both together. But um, since I have Serato, yep, yeah, since I have Serato, We'll have to use an audio cable. We're not gonna use XLR. Um, we're gonna use RCA. It'll sound a lot better. So we're gonna see how how this all sounds. Like having one with the with the um, XLR out and then the other into the XLR input. So it'll all be connected together. I mean, it would be a complicated setup, but I can actually pull it off. So with that said, it's 12.50. I think we pretty much talked about everything we needed to talk about in this update for you guys on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more to come. And stay tuned for the next video, which will be Saturday, September 21st, which will be another gig log. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This is DJ Cool Thing. Out.